All right, welcome back. It's still the Breakfast on Plus TV Africa, and we'll be looking at security, specifically at the kidnapping of students that uh, happened just uh, yesterday in Kebbi State. And we have the uh, police public relations officer from um, the Kebbi State Command, Nafiu Nasarawa, joining us to look at um, all of the issues and bring us up to speed concerning what we need to know and how far they have gone. Uh, good morning to you, Mr. Nafiu uh, Mohammed. Uh, Nafia Abubakar. Abubakar, Morning. sorry. Thanks for joining us once again. Thank you, sir. All right. Uh, can you just bring us up to speed specifically as per what you do know concerning the incident of yesterday? Come again, sir. Can you bring us up to speed as to what happened yesterday, exactly how it happened, and uh, what information you have on ground? Okay, so it was uh, yesterday, that is the uh, 17th June 2021, at about 12 20 hours, that is in the afternoon. The uh, bandit did a large number invaded federal government college, Brunei Yahori, the best local government area of Kibbe State. Already we deployed our personnel there, so they get the, the engagement to a gun duel. As a result, uh, one of our policemen lost his life. All right, you said uh, you sent, uh, you deployed your men there. Did you uh, have a um, prior notice as to that particular attack uh, yesterday? Actually, you know, but due to the happenings in the, in, the, in the country concerning the location of the school, so the common have to take a, a proactive measure by deployment there to, to foster the, uh, any eventuality. Okay, Mr. Abubakar, you're saying that, you know, this police had been deployed to that particular school. But is it just that school, or are policemen also deployed to other schools across Kebbi State? Please come again. I am asking if policemen are also deployed to other schools in Kebbi, not just this federal college. Yes, ma'am. All the school at the border area with the Zamfara and Niger State, respectively, we do deploy our men there to guard the, the schools, ma'am. For, for how long, please? How long now have police been stationed in those schools? How? For how long now? How long ago were these policemen deployed to uh, schools? Based on, the, uh, based on the, you know, it, it has been happening nationwide in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in Nigeria. So in order to, to, to prevent it happening here in Kebbi State, we have to take proactive measures. But, but may I ask how it was that, you know, you mentioned that police operatives were already mm -hmm. stationed in the school. You know, if they were already there, then how were the kidnappers able to break in and, you know, make away with those students? You see, they came in a large number. Oh, they came in large number. Okay, hear me, Mr. Abubakar, go, go ahead. ahead. If you know how many they are, please tell us. Ma? Do you know how many of the kidnappers invaded yeah. the school? Actually, no, no, no for now, ma. Okay, when you said they came in large numbers, so specifically, are you saying that uh, the officers are posted to those schools around them, the border access in your state, are not uh, sufficient enough uh, in case uh, things like this occur? Come again, sir. Well, let me repeat the question again. You said the, the bandits came in numbers and they overpowered your men and those uh, students uh, were taken away. So invariably, are you saying that uh, the number of police officers and men uh, deployed to the schools around the border access in your state are not sufficient enough to forestall these attacks? Actually, they, you know, you know, as the way you play, are planning, the, the bandits they are planning and they get their own informants. So probably that what they call the the, the, the invasion, sir. Okay, so do you have a, um, a clue as to how many students were kidnapped from the school in Kebbi State? This is the first time it uh, occurred in Kebbi, and we are comparing our uh, figures right now. We are yet to ascertain the actual number kidnapped for now. Okay, and so have you been able to establish any forms of communication with these um, bandits so far since yesterday? Sir? Have you been in communication with uh, these bandits since yesterday? Any, any information as per what any demands have they made any so far? You see, sir, investigations are on. So anything pertaining to the, about the investigation of the incident, we are supposed not to take it on the uh, media. So I can't say anything about that one, sir. 
Okay. okay, so okay, so far, then what have you put in place? Uh, students um, have been kidnapped yesterday, and you say the men came in their numbers. They overpowered your men. What likelihood is that that it will not really occur again in some other schools? What have you put in place right now to you know to to ensure that students and of course uh, the residents of our Kebbe State are secure? You see, sir. Actually, each and every, each and every school along the border. Uh, town with the leaders of the okay, uh, Niger State, we have deployed our men there. And uh, with this incident, the Commissioner of Police, Kemsa Police Command, CP, Adeleke, Adenka, but the LNI, has already deployed additional men at strategic location so that if, if there's any incident, they can move and enforce those stations in the various schools in, in the, along the border, border towns. Okay, so Mr. Abubakar, you're saying you don't know how many students were kidnapped, you don't know where they are, and uh, basically the only information we know is that these students were kidnapped and that the bandits or the kidnappers were able to overpower the policemen who were already stationed in the school. So, so basically it seems like, a, it seems like a helpless situation. Come on again, Mark. I'm saying that, you know, just what you've said, just to repeat what you've said, that you don't know, the police in Kebbi State does not know how many students were kidnapped. The police yes, does not know where the students have been held. And basically the police in Kebbi State were overpowered by these bandits, even though the police were stationed there first. You see, about the location of the, the, the victims, we don't want to disclose that one for now. Investigations are on. Okay. Okay, but then you yes. have information about the students, but you don't want to disclose yet. Sir? So what you're saying indeed is that you have the location of the student, but then you can't, for security reasons, you cannot disclose it. That's what I think. Investigations are on. As the way the good citizens are listening to us, the bad two are listening to us. All right, we understand. So anything we do for that our investigation now, sir. Okay. Um, thank you. Thank you very much. We do hope the police does everything to get them back, you know, yeah. safely to their families. No. Um, Mr. No. Nasser Abubakar. Yes, please go ahead. I want to say a big thank you for your time. Thanks for joining us to look at all of the issues. And we do hope that in, uh, in time, not too long, that uh, uh, the student can be reunited with their families uh, yet again. Yes, yes, sir. All right, thank you so much. Thank you, my pleasure. Okay, so that, uh, that was the police uh, public relations officer in Kebbi State uh, Command talking about the kidnap of the, of the children. It seems, you know, we don't have much information it seems right, we don't yeah. know more well, than we knew more exactly like we, we personally nigerians do not mm. know more than what we knew on wednesday night on thursday night no that information has yes been, you know, children were trust. kidnapped from kebi state uh, the federal college um it's called um, benin benin yori I hope mm. I pronounced that right. Yeah. Exactly. So now we're saying that the, the police PRO, they're saying they do not know how many students were kidnapped. Mm. They can disclose where. Yeah. Maybe they do not know where. Or he's saying that investigations are still, still ongoing. ongoing. We have no idea they if... They were overpowered. They and were they overpowered. Ha and they were stationed ahead of uh, the uh, incident. I think, I think that's what boggles me the most. The fact that, you know, I think it's great that he mentioned that you know, since this whole insurgency, kidnapping of school children, the police operatives or the police command was able to take the initiative to, you know, station their men in schools in mm. the border towns. Around I think that's a great one. But the fact that, you know, the, the, you know that wasn't enough to forestall this attack. The attack. I think, I think really that's, that's not commendable. Well, maybe they need uh, support from sister agencies or something. Only time can tell. Uh, we'll take a break here to return with more. Just stay with us.